Roll it, Cam! Welcome. My name is Jason. I'm your floor manager. All this right? is Sucker uh, Squad member Jason. On a, a film shoot before, and right? this is tonight's Big Sucker. Like That's right. An entire studio audience. And you are our studio audiences. Let me see. On Jason your warms up the audience. Big smiles on your face. And okay, just to get those smile muscles going, everyone go like this. And go. And you know, what do you do when I do this? During the course of this hoax, we invite you to watch how our big sucker audience dutifully does everything they're told to do. So, um, when I do this, unfortunately... <laughs> our sucker squad is producing an infomercial for a new voice-activated microwave oven. Jason tells the audience about the inventor of the microwave. There's a guy called Alistair Metcalf. Has anybody heard about him? Yes, he has. He's heard of him. She's heard of him as well. I'm not talking about... Fascinating, since he doesn't exist. The show begins. Give a big, warm South African welcome to a man who is to microwave what Richard Branson is to hot air and balloons, Mr. Alistair Metcalf! <laughs> How often have you come home after a long day at work and you wanted to cook something and you've had to use this antiquated microwave oven? <laughs> yes. Not only working out how much your food weighs, but then have to work out which operations you're going to use, spend ridiculous amounts of time <laughs> manipulating buttons, tweaking knobs. It's a waste of time, isn't it? And if you... <laughs> Yes, it is. Waste of time. We have worked out through surveys that this Chattomatic 206 will save you at the end of any one week two and a half hours of cooking time. Time, yes. That's what it's all about. Now, how does it do it, you ask? How do we save the time? Very simply, the Chattomatic is a voice-activated microwave oven. You can now have a dialogue with your appliance. Our inventor asks for two volunteers to show just how brilliant the voice-activated microwave the, the is compared to its antiquated Gerard. cousin. Gerard, welcome Gerard, and you? Lulu. Lulu, very good. Skip to my Lou. <laughs> right, so here we go. Our time travel will begin. I will be using this stopwatch over here, and we'll see how long it takes for each of you. Now, of course, you, madam, <laughs> Lulu, you have to consult your table first. You have to see how much does your chicken weigh, what the time will be, and what operation and heat you will be using. That's what you have to do in the kitchen at the moment. You, Gerard, don't have any of those complications. For you, it's very simple. Pop the chicken in. You can even open the door with your voice, yes. Pop the chicken in, and away we go with the roasting. Are you ready? On your marks. Get set, go! Chatomatic open. Chatomatic open. Chatomatic open. Chatomatic open. Cut, cut, cut. It was working two minutes ago. Chatomatic open. Did you check the material? Did Simon, I've got a suggestion. We put the roast in there and we pick right, it up. I've got a suggestion. What we'll do is we'll put the roast in here. We'll just pick it up with the roast. Yes, put your, put your roast in, uh, Lulu. Let's do that. On your marks, get set, go! Chatomatic start. Right, and there it is. It was in two seconds. Gerard is cooking this. Lulu. Ladies and gentlemen, look at this. Lulu hasn't even started. We've already had 15 seconds on the clock. She's trying to work out how big her chicken is. It's absolutely ludicrous. All right, stop your ovens, if you will. Stop your ovens. Chatomatic stop. Nice and loud. Make it very clear. Chatomatic stop. There we go. It's got to be clear. <laughs> nice and clear. Get in there. Automatic stop. All right, never mind. We'll, we'll stop it in a moment. What we need to do is, after 32 seconds, it's quite clear. Just go in. Whoa. What a spread. Stop. <laughs> stop. Automatic stop. Cut, 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 cut. Just, get this guy's got a cut in his head, man. Fran, can you do, uh, call a medic, please? Okay. All right, just oh, that's fine. They replace okay, the blown that's microwave that's with a new one, while the injured man is taken to be patched up. The inventor uh, tests it. Stop. Right. Stop. Okay, that's fine. The that's second fine. one also wipes up, fusing the lights. The lights have gone out. Um, we restore ridiculous. the power. When you actually um, signed up, did you actually sign a release form or something? No. Um, well, you should have. I mean, basically what it lays down is, is if something like this happens, that you're not supposed to really talk about it. The okay. paramedic arrives. Just through there, Ben. Through there. Just inside there. Despite the disaster, the inventor forges on, asking if anyone would be prepared to endorse his wonderful invention. Coming closer to it, I just, you look a bit nervous. You look a little nervous around it. 
<laughs> the big thing about Chowder Matic 206, it is safe as houses. You've used this now on a number of occasions, haven't you? Yes, I have. And it really has made a difference in your cooking life, hasn't it? But this is the best. Have you had any problems with it over the years? No problems. No problems at all? Yeah. That's wonderful. For all your moms out there, this is the perfect, perfect microwave for you. The Chatomatic 206 can be operated without parental supervision. Chatomatic 206 is a wonderful product. No more long hours, quick cooking. <laughs> it is, it's doing something strange. The microwave, the microwave, something's happening with the microwave. Stand back, please. This is quite strange. Huh? Chatomatic's off. Everybody, just please, uh, maybe we'll respond to crowd. No, that's. One, two, three. Chat off. Oh. Chat off. Oh. I think that's fine. Right. No, that's that's fine. No, that's fine. Shopping centre security arrives. Hi there. Uh, someone's been hurt. Can I see the person who's been hurt? It's really, um, it's actually really nothing. I mean, you've got to come over here. Just cut, cut, cut the camera. Yeah. Big smile. Oh. oh. Okay. Damn it! Uh, this guy's this guy's pretty badly injured. Are you are you in charge here? Um, yes. Well, it was an unfortunate accident, and these people will just say we uh, don't even know what happened. I mean, it, yeah. My, my my concern is is that this has happened in my centre. I understand. Obviously, we're responsible public liability. Absolutely, and we I think this needs to stop now. We've got an injured person, very badly injured. You are responsible. I'm not responsible. It you wasn't. No, it wasn't just me. You and I need no, to no. Members. Lulu I'm as well. Where was Lulu? Where, on, Lulu was up here as well. I gave him very careful instructions. I, I said, this could be potentially dangerous. You're sitting here at the back now. Pretend, yes, you. But you were up here earlier. Is, is this, you is also this, had a is he, opportunity. He's saying that this, this is, is your ridiculous. I won't, is this audience okay. being paid? I, I will not be paying this audience. This is not what I've expected. I come to this country and I expect some look, degree of professionalism. Look, let me, let me, let me even be quite the camera crews are rubbish. Uh, a and man I don't even has know what been people are doing. out of here with blood coming out of his eye. Well, I'm, and what you're I, saying I, to I told me. people they had to sign a liability form if they wanted to use this thing. Well, you have injured someone, and now you're accusing your audience of doing it. Okay? That woman over there came up here, and she—they were prepared to even lie about it. What kind of audience is that? <laughs> I won't have that. <laughs> no. What? What's on tape? It on tape. You, you've audience. come from overseas and now you're going to tell us natives no, what to do. I will leave. You're not going anywhere. I will leave. You're not going anywhere. Okay. I will leave. You're going to come to my office, okay? And you will sign liability. I'm not taking responsibility. You just, just lost the left eye. You have no idea. Okay, no, I'm telling you now, okay? Everybody, just be quiet. Lost an eye. We've all been stuck in a lot of love. Watch how the audience hysteria grows. Oh, and by the way, Sucker Squad member Gerard didn't lose an eye. <laughs>